what's everybody it's Chris with longevity brought to you by DNC properties it's been a couple days since I've made a video I've been super super busy um, but I wanted to uh, go over a new tool I picked up um, came across a job where I had to remove some tile and I was really trying to determine which type of rotary uh, hammer drill I wanted to go with that had a chipping mode on it um, so I started off with my um, good old friend Ryobi, Ryobi, excuse me, um, and I bought their their chipping hammer. Okay, it was on sale. It was one hundred nine ninety nine, hundred nine dollars. Um, the er ergonomics felt great. It was comfortable. Um, everybody knows I do love my Ryobi tools. I love them very much. I use them every day in the in the in the work field. They're great. Um, so I bought this rotary hammer and. You know what, this is the first time I've said this, guys. Out of all the tools I bought from Ryobi, I was very highly, highly disappointed. Um, not only did it lack power, um, I wish it had a handle, uh, especially when you're ripping up tile. Um, it, it, the ergonomics seemed great at the time until you start going, and then you realize you just you need a handle. Um, so I, I just... <laughs> I had to exchange it once because as soon as I was using it overheated, the actual uh, locking mechanism for the bits stripped out and the bearings broke. Um, so I could no longer insert a, a, a chisel or any type of bit into it. So it, you know what? It was 109. I don't think it's worth the money. Um, for a DIYer, if you're doing some small work, even myself as a professional, if I'm doing maybe some small towel work, um, removing a backsplash or some small tile out of a bathtub, um, that tool would probably work. Um, but for some big old uh, ceramic floor tile, no bueno. So anyways, I was uh, <clears throat> went back to Home Depot. I took that tool back. It's nothing against Ryobi. Um, that tool is just not made for that. So um, I'm going to continue to keep using Ryobi tools, guys, because this is what I do. But I ended up going back to my predecessor, my other lineup of tools that I used, and I ended up getting the new, uh, <clears throat> boom, okay, the DCH133B, brushless XR 20-volt lithium-ion. Uh, this is a rotary hammer drill with a chipping mode SDH bits, not SDH, not is it SDC or SDC, SD, what is it? Let's see, SDS, my bad. Um, this does not take SDS max bits. This is SDX, SDS regular uh, bits is what it takes. Um, let's get over maybe a couple specs here, guys. Um, so right off the rip, we'll go ahead and we'll get you into some specs here. Um, so no load speed, okay, <clears throat> zero to 1500 RPMs, the uh, BPMs per minute is zero to 5500 BPMs per minute, okay, um, optional drilling in the concrete, <clears throat> 3 16 inches to 5 8 inches, the size of the bits, um, impact energy is 2.6 joules, now, Real quick, why I say that is because I went to, I never shopped there. I, I, I'm a hypocrite for even going there and buying the tool. Um, I actually took it back just because it just, it's corded. It just, for my needs, it just, you know, I I don't know. I really wasn't a big fan of it, but it was a Bauer um, rotary hammer drill. It was on sale for $94. Um, for the money, guys, the damn thing was great. I, I'll give you that. Um, it was fantastic. Um, it was just I like cordless tools, and the DeWalt did the exact same work. Um, but I want, the reason why I say that is because the uh, the jewels, I think it was at like five something. So I think it had more push energy as far as the chipping mode goes. Um, but I will tell you this much, guys: this right here competed with it every step of the way, um, and it was it was cord cordless. Okay. Um, Tool length, 15 inches long. It's about 4.6 pounds, so it's very, very, very light. It also comes with a rotary side handle and a depth rod for precision drilling when you're drilling holes into masonry or any, any type of stuff of that nature, guys. Um, this is the actual tool itself. Okay. Um, it is, uh, it's, man, it's, it's lightweight. 
It feels great. It's got a nice <clears throat> on and off <clears throat> locking mechanism here. Um, you can even also hold it in and you can, um, I wish you could push this in and lock the trigger in place. That'd be really nice, but there's no really, it's not necessary for this tool um, because, you know, you want to be able to control the, the speed of the trigger, whether you're doing chipping, drilling holes or whatever it is. Um, it's got a very easy um, dial here. Okay, so you can see for your drilling mode, um, this is for your uh, hammer drill mode, and then down here on the bottom is going to be your chipping mode. Okay, so this is going to give you that hammer, you know, rotor, you know, chipping mode, but also it's going to spin the uh, the actual um, chuck itself, so you can drill those holes and give you the strength of a uh, hammer drill. Um, so that way you can drill through those big old. <clears throat> Uh, concrete blocks or masonry or whatever you're doing guys and the biggest you know important thing is uh, this brushless motor guys um, this thing isn't gonna overheat um, it's gonna stay consistent as far as power goes it's 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 gonna hold a better runtime so you're not gonna obviously have any issues at runtime as far as being a brushless um, product um, I will say the Ryobi one that was brushed, uh, the runtime was great on it, guys. But this thing packed probably 10 times more of a punch than that, man. And it's only $199. It's literally $90 more with my discount. I think I saved $20 something dollars off the tool, maybe $30. Bucks. You know, it, for $170, it, it was worth the extra $50, guys. You know, the money was worth it. This tool is great. Um,. You know, so using this thing, it's it's very, very, uh, very simple. It's very easy. It's lightweight. And the best part about it is, guys, it's just super powerful, man. I just, I, I, I just really want guys out there, man, you're looking for a good rotary hammer. Um, obviously, I understand if you're using, you're, you're in the Milwaukee lineup, um, I mean, you're in the Makita lineup. I understand. It's 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 you're not gonna probably jump to a new platform because then you gotta buy batteries, then you gotta buy things. Now, listen, guys, I'm a big believer that some tools you just need that have to be corded. Um, belt sanders. Um, belt sanders really haven't. They really haven't scraped the surface of like the next step of technology for runtime. I have yet to find a belt sander that is battery operated that the runtime is just phenomenal. Doesn't happen. Not the Ryobi one. I own it. The brushless. I've tried the rigid. Um, I think Porter Cable. No, they make a uh, corded one. Not many companies make a cordless belt sander. It's just not there yet. But I believe in the next couple years. Um, we will start seeing, um, I really do believe we are going to start seeing a lot of, uh, brushless tools that aren't brushless yet start launching as you're already starting to see it, um, with so many different models of tools, man, it's just unbelievable guys that the technology and the thought process these um, these engineers put together these great tools, man, to be able to run. It's like Milwaukee's, uh, you know, their their whole motto is we want to be able to give you a tool that's cordless. They're moving towards the whole mindset of no more corded tools, cordless power of corded tools, runtime of corded tools. Well, let's be honest, you're never going to get the runtime of a corded tool because you've got infinite power coming from a power source. So I just, that's why I say some tools are just necessary, right? So for me, the biggest one is a miter saw. Um, I don't own a cordless miter saw yet. Yes, I'm, I'm looking at, um, I own three miter saws. I own two 10 inch sliding Ryobi miter saws and a seven and a quarter inch. Um, and they're all corded. Um, I, I'm gonna buy a corded miter saw soon. Um, DeWalt makes one that I'm probably gonna get. It's it's corded slash also battery operated as well. I like that feature. I think it's great. Um, Milwaukee's new uh, miter saw is fantastic. Um, I've heard the runtime is is good on it. I heard that it's got the power of an actual corded miter saw. Um, but I just think the option to have power is is necessary you know because not everybody has the money to afford 
four 12 amp hour batteries, or even nine amps. So who's gonna run a Mitosol on anything lower than a nine amp? I just don't think it's, it's just not necessary. Unless you own a seven and a quarter inch. If you own a seven and a quarter, throw a four amp hour battery, it's gonna cut all your trim. And let's be honest, who's, who's cutting anything but trim with a seven and a quarter inch Mitosol? You cut some two by fours, barely. Um, but it's just not there. You know, most people use that small miter saw when I mean, you're putting in trim. It's easy to transport. It's lightweight, and it's going to get all your cuts and all your necessary needs for um, <clears throat> for putting in trim. So, anyways, guys, I wanted to show you guys another great tool I picked up today. Um, I was looking on on offer up, man. I'm always looking for deals on tools. I'm always looking to buy new stuff. I like adding to my collection, and I also like to buy things for a good deal and make some money off of it as well. On top of my business that I run. Um, and I just came across this deal, man. I just, this guy was getting rid of a, um, DWX 726 DeWalt miter saw stand. This stand is, I mean, it's brand new guys. And that store at Home Depot is $199. A stand, the stand alone is $200 and they sell online for two to $300 all day long. Um, so I bought this stand and they had it listed at 130 Okay. So I said, or he had 150 I said, listen, man, give me the 10 inch miter saw and the stand, I'll give you $120. Dude, he did it. You know what I mean? And guess what? I got me another 10-inch sliding Ryobi miter saw, mint condition. Guys, this thing is literally brand new, brand new Diablo blade on it. Okay, I think it's a 40 tooth, maybe even more. Um, so I'm going to get precision cutting on it. I literally, I mean, guys, I got a five hundred dollar value for 120 bucks <laughs> and the good news is guys i already sold the uh, miter saw stand i sold it for 150 bucks um because i don't need it i've got two ryobi miter saw stands so it's just not necessary for me at this point um i don't need the extra baggage um i just don't need it right now so i literally made my money back plus 20 bucks um, I'm going to get rid of my other uh, Ryobi miter saw. I'm going to let that go for pretty cheap. It's a 10 inch sliding, you know, hard box. Um, I got that one for a great deal too. Um, the handle had a crack in it. I paid 50 bucks for it. Fixed the handle. Pff, boom. I paid $50 for a $200 saw. Guys, let's be, I'm going to be honest with you right now. For a single bevel sliding miter saw, this saw is so underrated. It is so powerful. The cuts are precision. The sliding mechanism is smooth. I'm sure it's only a single bevel, but if you're very smart and you're precise, um, you can make this. You can make any of your cuts happen on the single bevel saw if you know what you're doing. Um, if you don't and you're a rookie, get a double bevel smiter saw. You'll end up wasting more lumber and more pro more material than what you need to. Um, and that's my uh, seven and a quarter. Um, we're going to shoot a video tomorrow at the job site um, where I got my setup going on at a, at a customer's house. Um, I've got two different jobs going on. I've got sets of tools all over the place, guys. So uh, my workshop is looking a little light right now. Obviously, all my stuff is at clients' houses, but just stay tuned. I got another video launching tomorrow, guys. Uh, some really, really cool stuff, some really cool projects that I've been working on. I'm excited to show off, and uh, really excited to show you guys what's been going on over here at Longevity, um, over here at uh, DC Properties, and what we do on a daily basis. Uh, just keep in mind, I've got my clothing line getting ready to launch. I got shirts, hats, all types of great work for construction workers, contractors, Anybody in this field of work that we do every day that we enjoy so much, that we enjoy so much, stay tuned because I got stuff for you guys. That's who I'm making it for, not just for me, for you. So go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel. If you have anything you want to see, any tool reviews, I know I've been slacking guys on the tool reviews. I've been saying I've been to do this. I've been filming them. I just haven't had the chance to get in and edit them and then get them loaded. Um, I'm going to be slowing down here in a couple weeks where I'm going to have extra time to really focus on getting these videos up and really, really keep building the channel. Keep building the brand of longevity, guys. So uh, I just want to thank everyone for if you're tuning in, you're watching my video. Thank you so much. And um, again, subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, any special requests, any questions you have. Um, again, this was all about this right here, guys, today.
worth every penny. Hell of a tool. Great tool. Um, <clears throat> I was able to rip up uh, 2,200 square feet of tile with this tool, no problem. Um, and, it, and obviously, I take care of my stuff. I mean, you, it looks brand new. Can't even tell any work's been done with it. So, um, and that's just called being a professional. Take care of your stuff. Okay, longevity. Okay, you take care of stuff, the longevity of the tool just lasts longer. It's with anything you own, your cars, your clothes, you take care of them, the, the longevity of that product just becomes longer, okay? Um, so anyways, thanks you again, guys. I really appreciate it. I'm super blessed every day um, for what I do and what I get to do. And um, hey, stay tuned for my next video, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.